Welcome back and hello if you are new. Now, following their 2015 release, The Direction of Last Things, it seems that Intranaut have finally reopened their unique world into the prog sphere. Having taken some much needed time off following the release of Direction of Last Things and its intense touring schedule, there was no real creative deadline that the band had to adhere to. Now five years on, and with added new drummer Alex Rudinger, the band are ready to explore their next sonic acid trip that is Fluid Existential Inversions. The things you've seen all melt in your mind. Fluid Existential Inversions is very much a flight-footed record, and whether it's the sprinting cubensis or speaking of orbs, it rarely stands still. The band often incorporate the use of bends in their guitar work to create an abstract sense of elasticity when it comes to really representing that idea of movement as well. However, we are allowed a moment of pontification when we get to those jazz-induced stasis moments where everything seems to kind of stop. This is Intronaut definitely at one of their heaviest and it's perfectly illustrated on Pangloss and Contrapasso. Both songs actually kind of begin with a, a very, very heavy riff and particularly kind of evolve, but keep that sense of real weight to the overall sound of the song. However, the cull seems to kind of fall more into that Meshuggah level territory where the riffs are a lot more brutish. Fluid definitely plays with the ideas of contrast, so you might have a riff that is incredibly tight and locked in and almost very clinical at times, but then you'll have these sections where I call them the flowy sections, which are very open and breathable, and it creates a very different tonality. Now, this flowy nature that I was talking about is very much due to the idea of guitar and particularly effects pedals. So reverb and delay are pretty much the orders of the day here. Often, and particularly in these jazz sections, it almost feels like every instrument is independent of themselves. Walking bass lines allow for the guitar sections to sound very free, but then the guitar sections are also completely different to what the drums might be playing. And despite what could have been a bit of a car crash sonically, because the album was mixed by Kurt Ballou, it allows for every individual instrument to be able to be heard at the same time, even though it creates a bit of chaos, but there is an organisation in there as well. Rudinger's contribution to the band, though, is absolutely outstanding, and it really illustrates just how brilliant he is in a kind of jazz environment, but also that he can kind of really lock in that heavy groove that Intronaut often need. Intronaut have never really been a very vocal-based band, and that's not to say that Sasha's vocals are bad, not by any means, but if anything, it's just a, a different texture that the band are able to play with. His cleans work brilliantly and bring those proggier sections to even, even proggier heights. <laughs> However, when needed though, he can turn into that sort of gruff sound as seen on The Cull, and also speaking of orbs. Electronics are also peppered in between the album, and it's a, a nice kind of touch that brings a different element and potentially a new dynamic to Intronaut's sound, and they can be used to kind of create a subtle change of direction as seen on Contrapasso, where they kind of almost influence the melody ever so slightly and then all of a sudden we're off into a different key change or we're into a different melody completely. Thematically, the album deals with the idea of human evolution and particularly the evolution of us as a species in the current day. So I'm talking, you know, how we actually interact with each other and how that has essentially been kind of lost. Songs also reference the idea of the duality of fear and time. There are very lofty theoretical philosophical ideas that are explored on this album. It seems though, without fail, and this is one of my favourite parts of an Intronaut album, is that there's always that 
how the hell did we get here moment. Sasha Donable credits the likes of Yes, King Crimson and Neurosis, all bands which have that larger than life sound that often require repeat listens to really immerse yourself in. And that is exactly the vibe that I got when I was listening to Fluid. But most importantly, I think that this is Intronaut not necessarily repeating themselves, but really pushing the boundaries of what their sound can be. Much like the Cubist idea of the album artwork, there are many ideas, textures and forms which lurk below the surface of the initial songwriting. Fluid Existential Inversions is by no means an album that you'll get tired by, if anything quite the opposite. The album is an absolute masterclass in the idea of songwriting, experimentation, contrasts and most importantly just being absolutely progged out. You could well be looking at the prog album of the year. So thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to check out all my other videos, album reviews, all sorts of good stuff. And I'll see you guys next week for another video. Take care.